It has always been possible to use icons within the Brazil Builder, but now it has been supercharged with the ability that you can bring in custom icons. You can upload your own icons and use them just like I did here for this tattoo shop page that I am developing. Let me show you how that is done. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and a good wherever you are. My name is JP, and this is Brizzy, and we're talking about custom icons that's really going to spark up your website and draw a lot of attention. Now, I've already changed these icons, and this is actually an icon box, so it can be done anywhere that you can apply an icon. You'll be able to bring in your own icons and bring them onto your page. But this little icon here, I've already used it here, and I feel like I want to do something different. If you don't have the icon yet on the page, go to the sidebar and then under Essentials, because icons are essentials. You just click, hold, and drag it onto the page and drop it where you want it to go. Let's click on this one, and we go to the icon settings on the left and click on the icon itself. And here, the regular suspects are our outline glyphs, the glyphs, and then font awesome. And then we have custom over here. And you can see here are those three that I have used. And I'm going to show you in a while where you can also get icons if you need that inspiration. You'll find some free ones online, but in some cases you will have to sign up to a package, to a service, you know, where you can get this kind of graphic design elements. And there are many good ones at a good price if you need that. Click on Upload Icon, and I'm going for this one, Tattoo Design. And this is very important. Why doesn't show an icon off the image here is because it has to be in SVG. If you have an icon in JPEG or PNG, it will not work. It must be SVG for it to work. Click on Open. It comes in, and I'll select it. And now I'm going to work with it exactly like I would with any other icon. And the great thing about these SVG icons and most icons is that you can put any color on them, style them, and that's what makes this really flexible. I'll just go here and increase the size even more. Okay, let's remove this one. Nice. That really gives us that tattoo feeling, a nice little addition. What we can do, let's go to the box settings and we go to the margin and we just move it, a, ooh, not this bottom margin. We move it a little bit closer. Oh, I like that, the way that also overlaps. Where you can get icons, plenty of places online. Most of them are going to ask you for a subscription, but many also allow you to use them for free, especially if you are working with a mock-up. You can just go ahead and use those icons. My favorite is a company called The Noun Project, and that's where I got this one. Search over 7 million icons. So if I just type in here tattoo, for example, you're going to see how many is going to pop up here. And the list goes on and on and on. Everything, almost everything I search for, I found icons I can use for. And it just makes me feel that my website is special, not like everyone else who's using Font Awesome. The other one that I also like to use is Flat Icon. And I've searched for icons, and then I got an icon pack. Now, that means it's an entire collection. And this is very nice if you want that uniformity. I am a subscriber, so this is probably a premium download. But just to show you how it works, I'm going to download the entire pack. So instead of just downloading them one by one by one, I go and I download the entire pack. So let's see what we got. I'll look in the zip folder over here. And you can see we have all the formats, EPS, font, PNG, PSD, and then SVG. So you actually have a lot of flexibility if you want to do more with this. But remember, we need the SVG. So I'll just drag that into my downloads to get it out of the zip. Let's see what's going on here. And there are plenty. Now, I'm not going to be able to view it, but there are a few and they've been named. So what we can do, go back into our Brizzy, click again on an icon. And now instead of bringing them in one by one, we go to custom, we click on upload icon, and we just import a lot. And you do the normal selection, click on open, and look at that very nicely, they all come in. You can bring them in now one by one. And if I want to manage it at a later point and say, okay, I think my icon or my custom icons are becoming a little bit cluttered, I just want them to be less cluttered. You can go anytime into the icons and then from here, delete the ones that you don't want. For more updates on Brizzy, 
Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, check the description below. There are plenty of places you can join, like Facebook. You can go read the blog. And there's also contacts there for support. And if you have ideas, improvements, and things that you would like to see in the future, check out the link for the feature request. From me then, JP, I'll see you in the next video.